Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Huh? You mean... About your brother. While you were resting at Gandarvaville, I took some time to perform an Ermin Soul search for information on your brother. Yeah! Isn't Ermin Soul a repository for all the information and memories of Tvat? So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. This is true in your case. Ermin Soul indeed does not have any information on you. However... There must be something different about your brother. Because, as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. What? There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. But... nothing about this makes any sense! Wasn't this your first trip to Tevat? Hmm... According to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. After the Conria disaster, he began his journey through the Seven Nations of Tevat. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Erminsel records on him suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, Fuzzy? Did something happen to him? All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. And whoever it is, if they can do that, who knows what else they're capable of. But even that wouldn't explain how he somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. What's a Descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? A very important part of the intel was about this world's Descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler, you are Tevat's fourth descender. Huh? So the Fatui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and her brother isn't even one of them? That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the God of Wisdom. There are many questions in my heart as well. I will need some time to go through each one of them. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew, and depart from Sumeru. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. I'm sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. Alright, that's enough talk for today. If you ever miss me, just close your eyes, and maybe I'll appear in your dreams. <laughs>